Hold on. LeBron, I shouldn't have done that piece. The hurricane was coming. Everyone knows I have mental issues. You accept? Done. I'll do that segment to accept your apology or my apology or whatever. So he bought a team with Draymond Green and Kevin Love, which brings me to my next segment. Who would win in a pickleball match? I talked to LeBron and found out Draymond Green's a 3-5 or 4-0 player. He did get, and I quote, his ass kicked by a middle-aged man. So middle-aged all men, you should feel pretty good right now. Draymond Green describes pickleball as an all-inclusive sport that brings people together. That's badass. And I quoted that. He does see himself playing pickleball on a regular basis, which is pretty cool for pickleball, right? Kevin Love played for the Minnesota Timberwolves, was pretty incredible, played for LeBron when he was in Cleveland. I know Kevin Love was a master rebounder for the Minnesota Timberwolves. He was 20 and 20, like 20 points, 20 rebounds almost every game back in the day. He does have back problems, so I'm going to weigh this in my decision moving forward. Final countdown. They're both going to have awesome overheads. They're both extremely athletic. Yeah, this is a very objective study. We're going to start with driving the third shot. I don't see either of them being that great because they're not coming from a paddle or racket background. I would like to see them drop that third shot, get to the kitchen, try a lot of Ernie's, be patient because they have those long hands and they can wait for that opponent to pop it up, right? Dinkin. They both have an extremely smart basketball IQ. Both talk very eloquently. I don't think I even said that right. So if I'm coaching them pickleball, I expect them to go five, six, seven shots deep in the dink battle because they're going to get that pop up, right? Like I said before, thinking that tied as well. We know Draymond Green got his ass kicked by a middle aged old man. So eh. three, forehand middle. I got to give the edge to Kevin Love. He has a longer wingspan. Even though he has back trouble, you don't have to get super low on those dinks. That's a fallacy. Brings me to four. Four, backhand middle. I want Draymond Green on backhand middle every single time. Imagine him going for Ernie's. He built his NBA career on hustle. He was never the most talented. That's why I really look up to him. Seriously. Final countdown. So that both tied right now, 1-1. One, one. Which brings a very important element in place, reaction time which I got to give to Draymond Green. So why do pickleball players seem so much quicker than others? Partly because they're not swinging, right? The real fast people are not swinging. If they're bringing that paddle back too far, they're going to seem really slow. Kevin Love's a little taller. I feel I can go at his body a little more. I can chicken wing him. Go at the right hip or right shoulder of a right-handed player. And I get him chicken wings after. Seriously. Draymond Green has those fast twitch muscles when I watch him play basketball. He could be extremely fast at the kitchen. If he took lessons from me, serves, I think they would both have strong serves. They'd be consistent. Final countdown. X Factor. I got to give it to Draymond Green again. He's still playing for Golden State. He's still really good. And you know what? I'm sorry, Kevin Love. The final countdown winner and who I'd rather play with is Draymond Green. Would I play with either one of those guys? Yeah. I don't know if they would play with me. Pickleball lovers, who do you think's better, Kevin Love or Draymond Green in pickleball? Leave your comments. I'm Joey. I'm all in. And maybe you should be too.